Welcome back everyone. So today we're going to be installing our studio, which is uh, kind of like a um, program that lets us do statistical programming. So uh, we're going to use the R language, which is pretty much the standard um, language and R studio is one of the standard, semi-standard, pseudo-standard um, programs for uh, doing statistical programming. Um, a lot of very big organizations use RStudio now, or R language, and um, yeah, just it's becoming very, very popular. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install it because that's what we're going to be using in this course to do um, statistical programming and actual real statistics, um, not just the theory. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get R, and R itself is just a programming language that you need to download and install on your computer. I'm running on a Windows computer for this example, um, but you can just go to cloud.r-project.org. And then uh, at the top of that page, they have different downloads for Linux, OS X, and Windows. So since I'm on Windows, I'm just gonna click, and then we want to download base, base. So it says binaries for the base distribution, if you are installing R for the first time, this is what you want. Okay, so just click on base. And then at the top, download uh, version 3.6.3. Uh, and if you click that, then the download will start immediately. So you want to download that. And I already have downloaded it here. It just looks like a normal installer um, like you would normally have. Okay, so actually I'm gonna go ahead and install that now. So the installation process is pretty much like um, like normal for Windows. Say yes, and then choose the language you want to use. The language doesn't really matter that much. Um, I'm putting it in the program folder, uh, program files folder. Uh, the W signs are for the one symbol. This is just like a backslash. Um, I'm going to include all of the files. I don't need to include 32-bit files because my system is 64-bit. Yours is probably also 64-bit, uh, but let's just keep everything. It's not that much space. And then accept defaults, and then click next, and then, yeah, click next. So basically you can accept all of the defaults uh, for that. Now, the thing that I have seen a couple times is if your Windows username um, is in Hangul, then sometimes R can have trouble running. I'm not really sure why, but if your username is in Hangul instead of English characters, um, it, there could be an issue. I don't know if that's been fixed. I saw the problem a couple years ago. Uh, so click finish. Um, and then now we have R installed. So you can see R 64 bit and R, these are the two different versions. Uh, if you click on it, you get this little R uh, window. So for example, we can type demo and then that will give us some things. But this interface um, is really inconvenient to use, let's say. Um, you can program everything you want inside the R interface this way, but it's much more difficult. So instead of using this directly, we will use R Studio um, to do our, our programming, okay? But now we know that R has been installed because it's running, okay? I don't need to save the work piece. Okay, so now that we have R for Windows or Linux or whatever uh, operating system you're running, the next thing we need is R Studio. So R Studios at rstudio.com. Okay. Now all of these are free. You don't need to pay anything for, for any of these packages. So if you're asked for a credit card or anything, you do not need to pay for it. Don't pay. So you can see the pricing there. Um, they do have a paid version, but we're not going to use that. So <clears throat> we want products and uh, under open source, we want R Studio. Okay, so click R Studio. And then we want R Studio Desktop and we want the open source edition, okay? So community, pricing free, and then download RStudio Desktop. And then again, choose your version. And whenever you choose RStudio Desktop, uh, click download, and then you'll finally get to the um, 
install R. So yeah, so we've already installed R uh, previously, so this is done. Now we can download it, uh, RStudio Desktop by clicking here, and then once that's done, uh, we can install. Um, if you're on Mac OS X or uh, Linux, uh, different installer packages exist for um, other operating systems as well. So you can use both R and RStudio on Windows, OS X, and Linux. So um, you should be able to <laughs> you should be able to get it working no problem. Um, okay, so. For most people, you just want to click on this download RStudio for Windows, click on it, and then it will start downloading uh, this package manager. Now I've already downloaded it, so I have uh, RStudio uh, 125 EXE. So once the download is finished, just double click on that, and then you can install like normal. Click Next, Program Files RStudio, OK, Install. Okay, then click finish, and then you can get rid of the browser. Okay, so now whenever you click on your start menu, you should have R and RStudio installed. Whenever you click on RStudio, you wanna use the round uh, RStudio circle. We never need to open the RX64 or I, I386 uh, icons. You do need them installed because they're kind of in the background, but we won't really use them directly. So click on RStudio. And then uh, it should just open up like this. And you know that R is working if you see this um, uh, command. Like in the console, you can see R version 363. If you don't see this, or if R pops up with a message that says that it um, is looking for the version of R on your computer, if that message pops up, it means that you probably don't have R language installed properly. So go back and do the first uh, R install again. Uh, if this pops up, then you are basically good to go. Um, while we're in here, I'll just talk a little bit about the different uh, windows. We'll start doing projects um, uh, next week or later. But the different windows, basically we have the console. This is for running different um, uh, commands. Uh, so let's see, license. So um, I'm running an R command license, or this actually could be an RStudio command. Oh no, yeah, this is an R command. So I'm running an R command license that just shows the little, uh, software license that we have here. This console is where we could type in different uh, tasks or t different commands uh, and make R do what we want. Terminal is kind of the same deal. Uh, except this is a Windows terminal, so we can type Windows commands in here. Um, this lets us do things like uh, create folders and files and modify things from the Windows command. Uh, this is not for statistical programming, it's more for file management than anything. Okay? And then jobs, whenever we have a script that we want to run, an R script, uh, the jobs panel shows what's currently running. Okay. Uh, I wonder if clear works. No, okay. So uh, the environment. So whenever we start making scripts and we start loading data into our studio, the environment will tell us what variables exist and what values those variables have been set to. Um, it's really uh, useful for trying to program to have a list of all your variables um, and their current values. Uh, History is the commands that you've ran. So um, for example, if you want to run something over and over again, let's say I want to run the license again, I can just double click it and then press enter and it'll go again. So then I can see exactly the commands that I've ran before. Um, yep. Yeah. And then connections we'll talk about later. So R is a statistical programming language, but what that really means is that we use it to do statistics on something. So whenever we um, are doing statistics, we have some sort of data set uh, normally, like uh, something we want to analyze and some question that we want to answer based on that. So uh, you'll use this files folder. Uh, so for example, we have this R, this R folder, but it doesn't have anything in it. 
So in this uh, files tab, basically you'll keep track of your projects. So R is a statistical programming language. And what that means is that we're doing statistics on some sort of data set and we're trying to answer some sort of question. Well, the data set itself is probably a file or multiple files that we need to keep track of. The questions and the documentation are files we need to keep track of. Um, and then of course the results and any scripts that we make, uh, we also need to keep track of. And then with our studio, we can create, for example, graphics uh, based on the data that we um, are analyzing and we need to keep track of those too. So the files folder basically creates a working directory where all of your data can sit and you can access it very easily. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. And then uh, for plotting, uh, whenever something is plotted, basically you're creating the graphs based on your data. Packages, um, R has a lot of packages uh, created by um, contributors to the project. You can write your own packages uh, for doing a lot of different types of analysis. Um, and just basically adding additional support for things. So we'll talk about those too. And then the help, of course, um, RStudio has quite a bit of help. There's lots of tutorials also on uh, using R and using RStudio. Uh, and then the viewer, um, yeah, for viewing, okay? So <clears throat> one of the, I guess, the two most important areas that I tend to work on is the uh, home folder. Um, where I put all my scripts and have my projects directories all planned out. And then I look at my environment variables quite often. Um, and then everything else is basically writing a script. So for example, if we go to file, new file, and I go to a new script, or uh, very often I use new markdown, but let's do a new R script. Um, so now I have my script and I can just start typing um, whatever, whatever I want for uh, the programming. Then I can run my script and then it will run uh, uh, underneath and I can see my variables. Okay, so we'll talk all about this, um, but those are kind of the four main areas that you would use. Um, and we'll start scripting in R for some basic examples of how to do uh, real statistics, not just um, reading the book and doing theory. Uh, right, so that's it for today and in installing R and installing RStudio. So please um, get those programs installed on your computer so you can follow along with the examples. Okay, thank you very much.